Hey, it's Aaron from GameWithDudes.com, and I'm checking out the Shovel Knight expansions for the Exceed fighting system. Now, there was a standalone Shovel Knight that could be played uh, with the other Exceed fighting system, the Street Fighter Exceed fighting system. If you look in the upper right corner, you should see a card that will link you to my overview of that. More go going over more gameplay and things like that. I'm not really going to go over gameplay in this video. I'm just going to show you what the uh, two Shovel Knight expansions have in the box. So you have the Shadow Box, and I think the the Hope Box, or the Dark Box and the Hope Box. I know this one is Hope, so I hope I'm right. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so let's just get these open and, and see what's in them. As you can see, the Hope Box comes with four characters. Uh, Shovel and Shield Knight are included on cards together, which, given their history and who they are that makes sense that they be together but I would have been completely okay if Shield Knight had her own thing but that's not the point um, but I still wanted to say that so yeah they come with a this one comes with four different characters so let's take a look at what they are so first you have uh, Shovel Knight and Shield Knight when you met the requirements to exceed with a character uh, you get to go from sort of the base level character and they have both included, which is kind of nice. So you can play with either Shield or Shovel Knight. You'll probably just see a lot more art for Shovel Knight or Shield Knight, but you can play with either one of them. And they do have different abilities. So I guess technically there's five characters in this game because Shield Knight has their own abilities, even though all the other cards um, function the same way. But that's still pretty cool. So these are their exceeds. Wow, that's excessive. I don't know if that's, yeah. <laughs> Not the right word, but uh, yeah. So the gameplay is pretty uh, pretty much the same. Um, you have these what, seven different things you can do. You can prepare, move, boost, change cards, reshuffle, exceed, and strike, which is how the exceed fighting system works. One interesting thing is that the rule book is kind of generic. The Street Fighter games came with a rule book that, was, that had Street Fighter art in it. It had Ken and Ryu or Ken and Chun-Li. Street Fighter characters were in it. This one just comes with like a generic book. And that's not a big deal. It's just, it would have been nice to see maybe some of the the characters represented in the, in the manual. But not a huge deal. So, you can see here you have Mole Knight. This is the regular Mole Knight. And then this is the Exceed version of Mole Knight. That's, wow, that's a lot. So that's regular Mole Knight, and then you have Mole Knight's specific cards, blocks and cross-ups and things like that. So it succeeds, you know? So that's Mole Knight. And then we have Propeller Knight. Pretty cool. So Propeller Knight needs to use uh, two gauge to exceed, and that is the exceed version of uh, Propeller Knight. Propeller Knight is one of the knights I know, I guess, the least about. And this is Tinker Knight. Now I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure what that, I'm assuming that doesn't mean 10. I'm assuming that means whenever you want to, which would make sense. Uh, so your life begins uh, at half its maximum. When your life would reach zero, exceed at no cost instead immediately before resolving the rest of the strike so in the game when you're fighting tinker knight you're beating up on him because he's he's, he's a rather small guy or yeah and then he gets into a huge mech suit which would be consistent with with tinker knight there so yeah that makes sense and it's on theme so there you go they thought of everything it also explains this explains this so i guess it does from resolving your special ultra, add the effect of its boost to it. So I could only, this was in the box. So I guess only Tinker does this. So yeah, but you can fold it too. I'm not really, honestly, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, but it exists and it's nice to look at. So back to the shadow box here and show you the characters that are included here. So we have Plague, Polar, Treasure, and King Knight, who just got the final expansion
Polder Knight is already pretty formidable and rather large. So I'm trying to imagine what his exceed form would look like. Even larger. Oh, sorry. That but backwards. This is the regular form. I did it backwards. And then this is his exceed form. So pretty formidable either way. But I like the backs of all the cards too. They're all they're all very different. So that's pretty cool. Shovel charge. Ah, and instead of being in red, uh, these are Polar Knights, like Ultra Moves or what have you, so. Some serious damage, look at these two eights, jeez. Probably the same, but still. A snow Slash. Look at the range of that. The range is one to eight, with a power of eight. Wow. And here we have, whoop, did it backwards again. Here we have King Knight. So you may boost with your Royal Decree if they are not sealed. After resolving a Decree or continuous boost draw card. So and this is King Knight Succeed form. Nice. I probably should have taken a look at some of the other ones, Ultra Move. So King of Cards and the Victory Trumpets. That's on theme. Of course. What does this do? This attacks range is calculated from the center space of the arena. Hit pull three. It does no damage though. What does this do? Oh, it, okay. I guess you use it in conjunction with the decrees. Okay. Oh. Interesting. He can heal. Oh, wow. That is different. That's very okay. That's that's interesting. Let the try King Knight out. And we have Treasure Knight. If you look at it long enough, you will begin to see uh, the Big Daddy from the cover of Bioshock 2. And if you look long enough, you'll see Bomberman. You're welcome. Um, and then that is Treasure Knight's Exceed form. Hmm. So let's see what some Treasure Knights. Anchor launch. Six, that's a nice range. Good damage on that one. Not good range, but decent damage. Ah, but you can come in. So before you close in two, you move in two spaces. That's cool. Scuttle slam. Wait a minute, what was regular moves? I got the wrong thing. So Maelstrom chest. And that. Hmm. Angler call. Yeah, that wow. Eight damage. It's crazy. And last but certainly not least, Plague Knight. Not least in terms of this game. I just of the four different campaigns, Plague Knights was the one I liked the least. Not it wasn't bad, it's just the one I liked the least. So we have Plague Knight here. Regular and exceed. Like he's there to cure any diseases. Oh, look at that. Look at the back of his car. That's kind of nice. Over a cauldron. That's on theme, on brand. And chain reaction. These are his special cards. Unique cards, and these are his special abilities. I'm pretty sure I conflated uh, character specific cards with character specific ultras and the other ones, but you'll forgive me. So, triple dose. Okay. And the castle crasher. Hey, wait a minute. That's a anyway. It's a different game. So, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the mat that comes with this. I'd like to get it, but these are the cards you would lay out for like your play field. It's like you with the Street Fighter. You lay them out, and then uh, I guess I'm assuming these would be in the end. You would lay these out, and that's your play field. So, I would like to get the mat though. To be honest, I'd like to. I feel like I would. Like having the mat. I have the Street Fighter mat. It's very nice. So we'll see what happens. And then there were a couple of errors and mistakes. We're all human, we all make them. So, and they are very forthcoming about those mistakes. So, there we go.
Nothing we can't handle. And that is everything that comes in. The Exceed Fighting System Shovel Knight game. So, I guess as a comparison, I should compare this Shovel Knight with the original Shovel Knight that they put out standalone. So, I'll show that. You get the benefit of having Shield Knight now. And those are hers. And then this is Shovel Knight here. Regular. So, this is a comparison. Um, all the cards from the other one, from the one from last year, have like the purple and the red on the outside and the you know just different colors which is fine uh i will say that i do like the art from this one a little bit better but i was completely satisfied with what i had last year too so it's only by a comparison you know it's not a big deal and everybody has the x exceed so stay on theme so yeah i do like the art from these better though and because the iconography was a little bit different in this than they were for the street fighter it just took a, you know extra seconds to go okay this with this like all the this, the, the ultra ones and stuff or the red ones and all that stuff but it was fine it worked just just as well as the other ones but you know this is an improvement and credit where it's due so there you go show on the wrong side so yeah there we are that is uh the exceed fighting system uh the full shovel knight stuff so I, I do enjoy the game. I haven't played. I haven't had a chance to play this one, but I know the system. The kids know it, so we're gonna we're gonna jump right in and, and have a good time. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for making it this far. And yeah, take care. Be blessed.